Hello folks, my name is Duane Porter and I'm the curator here at the Halifax and Southwestern Railway Museum located in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Our goal here at the Railway Museum is to try and preserve the railroading history of the South Shore of Nova Scotia. We are doing this in three ways. First is through photographs depicting what railway life was like here on the South Shore. Second is through a large collection of artifacts which connect you to the people and places along the Halifax and Southwestern Railway line. And thirdly, we are tying this all together by building Nova Scotia's greatest model railroad display. The Halifax and Southwestern Railway was started in 1901 with the merger of two smaller railway systems. Then, by 1907, it had been expanded to extend from Halifax down through Bridgewater, which was the operations centre of the South Shore, and then headed on towards Yarmouth. From Bridgewater, it ran up to the valley to Port Way, to over to Caledonia, and down here to Lunenburg. The railway provided both freight and passenger services to the communities all along the South Shore. The timetable that we have here from 1910 shows that it took almost 14 hours for a scheduled train to travel from one end to the other. Henceforth, a lot of the local people, instead of calling it Halifax and Southwestern Railway, they more affectionately called it the hellishly slow and wobbly. As you look around, you will see that we are very fortunate to have many of the photographs and personal artifacts of the people that worked on this railway line. This provides a tangible link between these people and the model railroad that we are building. This model railroad will take you on a journey, starting in French Village and heading down the line, making stops in Hubbards, East River, Chester, Chester Basin, Gold River, Martins River, Mahone Bay, the line heading down towards Lunenburg and the Lunenburg waterfront. It will also make a stop in Bridgewater and the railway yard, and then head towards Liverpool. Everything on this model railroad is built in 164th scale, otherwise known as S-scale in model railroading terms. It is the product of countless hours of work by dedicated volunteers who have helped my wife Sheila and I bring this railway history to life. Everything is being reproduced as accurately as possible with a lot of attention to detail. Take for example the railway wharf here in our Lunenburg scene. Bruce, one of our volunteers, built it using over 4,000 pieces. All the buildings along the Lunenburg waterfront were carefully researched and then accurately reproduced. This scene, depicting the Mahone Bay Station, is a good example of how we build our railway track on this model railroad. Each one of these railway ties has been individually cut and glued in place. Then the rail is laid and secured in place using these miniature railway spikes the same method used when building the original railway line. Each one of these switches has also been built by hand. Bridgewater was the home base for the crews and operation center for the Halifax and Southwestern Railway. This railway yard in Bridgewater was a very busy place. It had trains arriving and departing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our night scene will take you back to the arrival of the evening train from Halifax. This kind of attention to detail creates a memorable experience for our visitors. So let us show you what we're building here at the Halifax and Southwestern Railway Museum in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia.